The Indian Ministry of Defence aims to establish local assembly facilities for F-414 engine and manufacturing key parts within the country, in order to stabilise the production systems, and ensure a steady supply of frequently replaced components, that will ultimately reduce operating costs of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. The move is expected to have a positive impact on the Tejas Mark II program, by ensuring a reliable Indian supply chain efficient maintenance processes and cost-effective operations. The US firm General Electric is awaiting final approval from the Biden administration, which is expected to coincide with Prime Minister Modi's upcoming state visit to the United States. Times of India has reported, that the development trials of the Prale short-range tactical ballistic missile has been completed by the DRDO, and it is all set to start user trials very soon. While negotiations are underway for the purchase of 120 Prale missiles by the Indian Air Force, and 250 missiles for the Indian Army. The 1,500 km long-range land attack cruise missile and 1,000 km range submarine launched cruise missile will also be ready for production within a couple of years, and all such missiles and rocket systems of the three armed services will be integrated under the Indian Rocket Force. Meanwhile, the strategic forces will continue to be in charge of the nuclear-capable missiles as well as nuclear-powered submarines armed with nuclear-tipped missiles. India and Indonesia are currently working on an Air Force bilateral agreement, that will be signed later this year, which will pave the way for joint air exercises, and facilitate the exchange of operational knowledge experiences and best practices. The Indonesian Air Force is equipped with Su-27 and Su-30 as their frontline aircraft, and Indonesia has already expressed interest in the Astra Mark I missile to replace the older Russian R-77. Brahmo's Aerospace is also expected to sign a $200 million to $350 million deal with Indonesia, under which it will procure Brahmo's shore-based missiles, and Brahmo's ship-launched version that can be mounted on warships. The contract for 307 ATAGs will be finalized later this year, under which 60% of the guns will be manufactured by L1 bidder, while the remaining 40% will be allocated to L2 bidder. Latest reports indicate, that once the contract is concluded, the Indian Army will receive 75 guns per year, resulting in the formation of 4 ATAGs gun regiments every year. Bharat Forge has also expressed readiness to produce 1 ATAGS per day, if it secures bulk orders for the remaining 1,500 guns. After establishing a joint venture last year, Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited are all set to commence the development of a new engine for the Indian multi-role helicopter program. Safran Helicopter Engines and HAL have finalized a work share agreement for the engine development, in which HAL will have active participation in the design development and production of core engine components, and will also get transfer of technology for the new engine. The core section of the engine will be based on the Aneto 1K engine, that is capable of delivering between 2,500 and 3,000 shaft horsepower.